Hey friends, so I'm back with another recipe. Hope you all are well and you are enjoying my previous recipes. So for enjoying future recipes, don't forget to like and subscribe. So today we are preparing black forest tart and it has many layers. So let's start without wasting time. First, we are preparing patisable chocolate. For that, we have all-purpose flour. We have icing sugar, almond flour, corn flour and uh, cold butter it has to be cold and then we have fine semolina one medium egg and cocoa powder so let's begin with this recipe as i have uh, previously mentioned in my tart recipe we are going to combine all the dry ingredients except icing sugar because that we have to mix it with the cold butter the butter has to be cold because we don't want uh, the fats to you know overtake the uh, to develop the gluten basically so first we are going to cream the butter and icing sugar on low speed the speed has to be to number and at this point we will stop and we will add our dry ingredients now we will wait until it forms coarsely sand texture as you can see I'm going to add my egg now and then I will stop I will not over mix I will try to mix this mixture with my hand because as I mentioned earlier that I don't want this mixture to develop the gluten so I'm just going to do a little bit mixing with my hand and then I will roll it out and I will put it in the freezer to form my tarts okay so this is what I'm doing here the thickness has to be 1 mm and now we are going to cut our tarts for baking and my previous video is very detailed about this procedure so you can go and watch that video i will just do it one in front of you you can see how i'm going to build up the sides of the tart and if you want further information you can just go back to my previous video and you can see the detail there okay here i am i'm going to build one tart for you is how it is has to be and that's it i'm just going to fix this corner meanwhile you can subscribe my channel don't forget because i am preparing many new recipes for all of you okay it's almost done and then i will finish the later and we are going to bake this tart at 165 degree for 12 minutes now we are preparing chocolate crunchy pan it is very rich so let's see all the ingredients are there in in the text form you can see i am using melorana chocolate you can use any of the chocolate so i'm going to clean my butter and sugar first since the quantity is very small it is lit little difficult to mix but uh, let's see this quantity is enough for four tarts okay so i'm just going to add my egg and mix and after that i am going to gradually add all my ingredients you can see i have added uh, my almond flour and now i'm adding my chocolate melted chocolate and in the last i'm going to add my cocoa nibs so the cocoa nibs is optional you can add or if you don't like it don't add it i like it because it is it will not it it will balance the taste basically i'm going to bake my frangipan and now we are making chocolate mousse so we have milk gelatin uh, i'm using manjari chocolate if you don't have use dark chocolate cream and cream number two for soft whipping first we will prepare the hot mixture i'm going to uh, boil my milk with whipping cream the smaller quantity okay the bigger quantity has to be whipped on soft peaks and now i'm going to introduce gelatin here okay and when it takes the first boil i am going to add the manjari valerona chocolate and leave it aside for at least one minute okay so that's how i'm doing right now here meanwhile i will whip the whipping cream the bigger quantity on the soft peaks okay never overbeat your whipping cream for the mousse if you want it to be in the very good texture so you don't have to overbeat it now i'm just going to melt all the chocolates 
and then I will when it's cool down I will introduce into the soft whipped cream okay so I'm going to add my whipped cream soft peaks mm -hmm. and then I will mix this and with the slow hand I will fold all this mixture to comes together here it is I'm using silicone mold I can put the link uh, in my description if you want to buy this mold you can simply use this mold you can omit and you can simply pipe this mousse into the mold after baking with frangipan okay so let me just remove the air bubbles with the toothpick and I'm going to put this in the freezer for overnight and now we are preparing sour cherry confit okay so for that we need sour cherry puree of course pectine NH sugar and fresh lemon juice you can use citric acid but I'm using fresh lemon juice I'm going to mix sugar and pectine together to activate and I will boil my puree until 40 degrees Celsius and at that stage I am going to introduce sugar with pectine okay after mixing I will put in the last the lemon juice let it cook for one minute and then remove and pipe it on your tart which was previously baked with frangipan okay so this is our second step and here it is now I'm just going to clean it off with the spatula and I will put this in the fridge for at least two to three hours okay so it, it will set nicely done and now in in the last I am going to put the mousse uh, spirals on top of that sour cherry confit the mousse has to be made in one day advance okay and now I am just preparing the decoration part as I always mention in my videos that the decorations are up to you so I have uh, chose fresh cherries as they are in the season at the moment so you can take full advantage okay I'm almost done and here it is our tart the delicious black forest tart I will show you all the components of this recipe you can see patisable frangipan and then on top of that sour cherry confit and the mousse and our fresh fruits I hope you have enjoyed the recipe and you will make it and tag me on Facebook and Instagram. Until next video, ciao, bye bye and like and subscribe.